I hope you're having a good Friday East Texas. We haven't had a ton of rain here around Tyler so far today, but we have had some sprinkles and some light showers push through 66 still fairly cool this lunch hour and definitely overcast outside those temperatures going to keep warming this afternoon, but they won't get too toasty for today. 60s from Tyler to Longview Henderson at 68 Nacogdoches 72 and 70 in Lufkin. The next 12 hours should show those temperatures getting toward the mid 70s by this afternoon afternoon. Chances for rain and storms keep going up as we head into the afternoon and into tonight. There is a possibility a few of these storms could be on the stronger side, but overall we're not expecting severe weather to be a big player for today, though still certainly a possibility. Rainfall going to be our bigger concern, though. An additional one to three inches could fall across East Texas between now and the end of the rain on Saturday. Not everyone going to receive those higher totals, but enough of us are under the gun that that flash flood watch does remain in effect. All the counties here in green, everyone except four counties in East Texas under a flash flood watch until Saturday morning for that additional rainfall on top of all of the rain that we've already seen so far this week. As far as where the rain is right now, with his light showers from the Louisiana border all the way over through Van Zant County up to I-30 and down through Cherokee County as well. Here across Smith and Gregg County, just light showers this hour for a long view along I-20 back in into Smith County, Tyler getting ready to get into more of those light showers out there. Lindale, Mineola dealing with the showers as well. The same up to Winsboro, Oak Grove, Sulphur Springs, over to Mount Pleasant along I-30. More light showers as well. We will be watching storms off toward the south. These have been pretty severe near Houston. The closest that will come to us is maybe some stronger storms through Trinity and Houston County that may eventually track through deep east Texas, which that is the region you'll note that is under the marginal risk for severe weather today just a level one out of five across deep east texas so we'll be watching those storms fairly closely as they approach this afternoon your future skycast out there shows the rain continuing out there some of those stronger storms pushing into deep east texas as the afternoon turns into the evening of course if any of those go severe we'll have you covered here at cbs 19 chances for showers and storms continue through this evening and into tonight as we head past midnight we're not done with the rain chances yet showers and storms continue into early Saturday morning, possibly at times getting heavier out there. We'll have to watch and see how the development comes together, but especially if you have plans before noon Saturday, plan on there being rain around. Some of it could be heavy at times as we head into Saturday afternoon. The rain starts to wrap up, but we'll still be around. Rain doesn't totally exit East Texas until we head into Saturday night. That's when clearer conditions start to move in. Your forecast for today, rain and storms. Again, a few could be strong. We'll be watching that closely. 76 are high for tonight. Rain and storms continue 63 the low. If you're heading out to the Red Dirt Festival downtown Tyler on Saturday, not looking the greatest for the first half of the day. But the good news is since this event starts at noon, rain chances keep decreasing as we head throughout the day. Expect a high near 79. Your next seven days out there show sunny, dry weather for Sunday and most of Monday too. Actually, rain doesn't return until Monday night, but then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, back to the same rainy, stormy pattern. That's uh, some good news for those folks heading to Red Dirt. Thanks, Michael. Well,